With ever-expanding commodity frontiers, the extraction of natural resources scars both landscapes and livelihoods. Aesthetics and narratives of spectacular destruction are pervasive, even amongst critical gazes and voices. Endangered natures are portrayed as vast and personless, invisibilising the experiences and agency of those who defend their land and live through the ongoing everyday experiences of extractivism. The Extracting Us exhibitions, which we will introduce in this video, respond to this with a gaze informed by feminist political ecologies. Grounded in community experiences of living with and resisting extractive industries, our upcoming online exhibition responds to the need to continue critical conversations around the political ecologies of extractivism in and beyond the COVID-19 public health crisis. The exhibition and accompanying conversations will bring together the work and experiences of artists, activists and researchers engaging with frontline realities, inviting new perspectives on extractivism to be brought into view and to invite acts of solidarity. Welcome! Selamat datang! Sugeng Rawo! Bienvenue! Welcome! So thank you for joining us today for this presentation of the Extracting Us online exhibition. So we'll just begin by introducing ourselves with a curatorial collective. Um, and then we'll go on to discuss some of the ideas behind the exhibition and how we'll be moving the exhibition online. Um, and then we're going to go on to showcase some of the highlights from the original exhibition, which was in Brighton last year, and then look at some of the contributions for the online exhibition. We got some of the contributors to share their reflections and introduce their work. So um, I'm Alice. I'm a PhD researcher at the University of Brighton. And my research is about how communities resist fracking here in the UK. Hello, I'm Diane. I'm a PhD researcher in University of Brighton and I'm also work with the WeGo IT network. I'm doing research on care in oil palm in Indonesia and Hi everyone. Um, my name is Siti Maimuna. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, at the moment uh, into I'm activist environmental activist also in 2018, I got scholarship from Wego ITN, and now I'm a PhD student at University of Passau, uh, studying for political ecology and my research about uh, ethnicity, mining, and gender. Hi everyone, my name is Ilona. Um, I am based at the University of Brighton in the UK, where I met uh, everyone, part of not part of the Wego network formally, but uh, really pleased to join in um, and I am finishing a PhD on uh, urban commoning in, in Europe and really uh, interested in the role of creative and artistic practices and connecting um, uh, and creating relations between different uh, often um, strange places. Hello I'm Becky and I'm professor of human geography here in Brighton, the University of Brighton and I come at this from a perspective of feminist political ecology and I've work, my work is largely around extractive landscapes relating to agriculture um, and I'm one of the mentors in the WeGo network which has brought me into contact obviously with, with this group and also with working with, with Ilona. Uh, yeah and since joining the group I've been learning about FBE and I come to realize that it's not only about learning, but it's embodying the experience, embodying FPA into your daily life. And what we feel uh, with this exhibition of extracting us is that FPA inform us not to be extractivist ourselves. This is also an attempt of uh, co-producing knowledge um, to listen the voice that is often unheard and to bring out the what is this, the extractivism in everyday life that is often uh, not shown in the extractivism um, discussion. Uh, working uh, with community affected by mining in Indonesia, when I, I was doing my second month at University of Brighton, I met Alice, Elona, Dian, and Becky, and uh, hey Sarah, and how to think about uh, uh, to connect uh, to country, uh, UK and Indonesia, 
about the extractive issue because the raw material from UK, some of that come from Indonesia and also the issue of climate change, how to bring extractive issues um, and also the care in uh, uh, my uh, study. So then uh, that's, that's, that's why we have a, a Extracting Us exhibition uh, in July uh, last year at Brighton. Uh, we have a collaboration with ONCA and we go IT and some of the organization in UK. So it's not just exhibition. We also have reading groups. Uh, we bring photos uh, from uh, community affected by mining in Indonesia, coal mine especially. And then we also have a, um, a film screening and uh, join uh, action with the youth group in UK, the, the climate uh, youth action. And also the important thing is uh, we have the writing uh, postcard workshop uh, to uh, sending uh, to, the, to the Indonesia from uh, UK. Uh, so it's kind of the, the spirit of exhibition is not just about the activities or exhibition, how to connect solidarity between uh, people to people from uh, UK people uh, and in Indonesia. So by that spirit, then we have the, um, we continue the second extractive as exhibition. So, so we are uh, inspired to continue extracting us and also invite more people into the conversation. And so we made a call for a collective exhibition that was to be held at the Political Ecology Network conference in Brighton this June. Uh, the conference has been postponed due to the current pandemic. And so we decided to move the uh, exhibition and conversation online. And um, we had uh, 13 contributors originally planned for the physical exhibition from 13 different countries and extractive, different extractive contexts. And um, it included a range of materials, not all of which are um, appropriate for an online exhibition. So that's one challenge is changing the format is also uh, new curatorial skills for how you present all these materials online in a way that is uh, uh, engaging and 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 uh, and can contribute to conversation. Um, but it also offers some opportunities for um, uh, people to participate in the online exhibition in uh, a non-live way because uh, there's also challenges to all these live events online events uh, when there is not so much internet accessibility or different time zones and it's also an opportunity to have a longer term engagement so we are launching the exhibition at the end of July and with um, some contributions over the summer and until the end of September um, and uh, we'll have more about that. Um, yeah so the some of the conversations we want to continue um, now over to Becky. Yeah, so many questions were opened up through the exhibition in Onco, which continue to, to work, at, we continue to trouble ourselves with. Um, as the exhibition has moved us beyond looking at the sort of more spectacular versions of extractive landscapes, we're interested to look at the lives that are being extracted. So our ongoing questions continue to centre around care. We understand this through an intersectional approach to power, marginalisation and resistance. So questions around race, ethnicity, youth, class and coloniality are centred in our lines of questioning. What's happened with COVID-19 is it's brought many of these questions of care and questions around intersectional inequalities into sharper view. So that's going to continue to be a, a line that we, that we look at. Um, through the exhibition to, to explore. And in, in addition to this, the social response to tackling COVID-19 has also raised specific challenges for those confronting extractivism in their daily lives, who are now contending with COVID as an additional concern on the front line, but also for those cultivating solidarity. So as other news agendas dominate, the big question for 
for us is how we keep the injustices of extractivism alive for those who are not directly impacted. Thanks everyone. Uh, so now we're going to look at some scenes from some of the events that happened at the Ankara exhibition um, in Brighton last year and I hope you can see how some of the, the ideas and approaches um, really came into action. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Saya Ibu Rahmawati Ingin mengucapkan terima kasih banyak Buat teman-teman Yang telah mendukung saya Yang berada di Inggris Insya Allah Saya akan terus berjuang Dan bisa untuk mendapatkan keadilan Buat anak-anak korban Dari lubang tambang Sekali, sekali lagi saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih banyak wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and now it's a real pleasure to share with you some introductions to the work kindly put together by some of the artists and researchers who will be featuring in the upcoming online Extracting Us exhibition as you will see the work of Pedro, Micah, Sandro and Negar are responses to very different extractive contexts and we look forward to the insights that can be gained by bringing these into conversation with each other
Hello, it's Maika Gugolati, and I'm the author of this photo collage project, Floating Tropics. My project shows digital hyperrealistic landscapes of the country of Trinidad and Tobago, where pictorial naturalism lives with gas and oil extraction enterprises. Trinidad has been a producer of asphalt, oil and gas since colonial time. This imperial occupation shaped the lands and waters of the country, transforming them as productive commodities. However, this omnipresent industry is invisible in the national artistic representation of the country that instead has focused mainly on the pictorial imaginary of a dreamt land. Landscape etymologically means to shape the land. This act of transforming the land is the leitmotif of my project. The land that aesthetically and physically shaped by human beings carves the social and cultural lives of its inhabitants. I propose with these photos a way to shape the land where the extractive activities reoccupy their pictorial represented visibility. Here, the oil and gas industries cohabit with human beings, populating the lands that we are exploiting. This project compensates the industrial iconic invisibility, aiming to shake the viewers about what they see, and it invites the audience to observe the surrounding lands, asking to shape them contextually and responsibly for a sustainable future. While we extract the lands, we are extracting us. Thanks to the collective initiative of Extracting Us, projects like this one have the chance to grow through counterpoint discussions that challenge the hegemonic positions. For me, this is a precious opportunity to share this Tribagonian magical realism that trills relations between oil and gas extraction with the environment and its population. Thank you. Hi, I'm Negaile Di Bezati. I am a lecturer in human geography at the University of Bristol. Um, so the art-based work that I introduce here in the context of extracting us is based on ethnographic research that I undertook in the village of Kante in Tajikistan, working mainly with uh, men, uh, women and children artisanal coal miners, and in particular with female miners who were stigmatized in the village. Uh, so I was really delighted to see the call for extracting us. Um, the group's dedication to investigate different ways of knowing uh, and looking at extractivism, taking a feminist intersectional approach, really resonates with my own work. So in my own work, I take a feminist post-colonial decolonial approach to resource struggles. Um, and I've been exploring the use of visual methodologies uh, for a while now, um, including through uh, the setting up of a multidisciplinary network, um, exploring this question at my former institutions at King's College no London. Um, this network was, is called the VEM, Visual Embodied Methodologies Network. Um, in the past years, I've also been involved in the, in the direction of a short ethnographic film with a video editor, uh, Como, Call in Tajik. Uh, so I've used my own footage from my fieldwork in Kente, and I really found this a really inspiring and fascinating experience. Um, and so this first experience um, inspired me to carry on exploring other forms of understudied and underexplored visual methods. Um, I worked with Kate Jessop, who is a feminist award-winning animation artist, to create a short ethnographic animation film, um, a short animated portrait of Nadira, a stigmatized um, female miner in the village of Kente. 
So in addition to these two films, I've also engaged in research, art exhibitions with my own photographic work, um, including it through, uh, through the, the series of photographs that I'm introducing in the context of Extracting Us, that is called Shame, Sham in Tajik. Um, and which is based on, uh, on an exploration of the amb ambivalent experience of shame of the, the female minors who were stigmatized in the village of Kente. Um, I think that generally my creative work aims to, uh, to make visible, invisibilized stories of uh, exclusion in resource extractive contexts. And what it puts into focus is the visual and affective politics that creative work can actually offer and add to like traditional research methods. Um, I think that this mode of writing in the context of resource extraction uh, touches actually on the multiscalar aspects of resource exclusion and violence, starting with the macro and structural transformations, and then moving to the very ethnographic, intimate and affective experiences of resource struggle. And I think that this is what feminist political ecology does. So a huge thanks to all those who contributed these snapshots of their work. We're really excited to see more as the Extracting Us exhibition launches online. And we would also like to extend our thanks to the Onca Gallery in Brighton, who have been hugely supportive with their expertise, space and resources throughout. Also to the EU-funded WeGo Network for Feminist Political Ecology Research, which brought many of us together and has supported the project financially. Also to the Centre for Spatial, Environmental and Cultural Politics, and the Radical Futures Research Centre at the University of Brighton for their financial support. So the exhibition will be going live at the end of July at extractingus.org uh, and there we will be adding new content over the months and creating opportunities for engagement, conversation and solidarity throughout. So before the launch we're really pleased to be hosting two online webinars. The first will, will already have been held in June uh, bringing together artists, activists and researchers to discuss the challenges of creative engagements at the front lines, particularly in the context of the pandemic. The second webinar will follow on from these themes, looking in particular at how extractivism and care are related, and that's happening at the end of July. And then in September, following the exhibition uh, and the ongoing conversations that happen over those months, we're looking forward to another webinar in which we can weave together our collective learnings and consider the next steps for the Extracting Us project. So we hope you'll be able to join us in these conversations. and We're really happy to hear from artists engaging in similar work. Thank you very much. <laughs>